Hey, what's up? This is Jay Lucky Henry. So today we're going to talk about what is and when should you use a contract for deed when buying property. Get ready. They ask me how I know it'll be okay. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. And I want to help everyone get real. R-E-A-L. Real Estate Explained amazingly by Lucky in 90 seconds, give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So today we're talking about what is and when should you use what's called a contract for deed. So the contract for deed is a tool for buyers who may not qualify for traditional financing or may just wanna to get to the process a little bit quicker. See, contract for deed is a great opportunity because what happens is the buyer and seller negotiate, of course, then they come to terms on a price and then they come to terms on the terms. And the terms are that the buyer is going to make regular payments to the seller until the balance is paid off in full. Now, most of the time, these lo these loans or these terms are about five years, right? Could be more, could be less. And what's beautiful about them to the seller is, although there's a risk in it because, hey, this buyer may or may not be able to qualify for a traditional loan. This buyer may or may not finish my payments. Two things here you need to know as a seller. One, most states allow you to repossess your property. Of course, check your local laws. Most states allow you to repossess your property, your pr property back because the buyer doesn't take claim or hold of the title until they finish paying it off. So if they start to default in year two, the seller can, in essence, foreclose on the property, take it back, and some states will require you reimburse them for reasonable improvements on the property that they made while there, but you still claim the house, right? And the second thing to know is there's no regulation on interest rates. So whatever you can negotiate as a seller, 10%, 11, 12, whatever you want, 25, I'm getting crazy now, right? Whatever percentage you want, it's not regulated. So as a buyer, you gotta go into this knowing, I'm willing to do this because I'm gonna overpay knowing that I can't qualify for just traditional lending. Or perhaps it just makes sense and you want to do business with the seller this way for whatever reason that fits your party's needs. However, I think it's a phenomenal tool. A lot more people are using it day to day. It's actually the primary source for owner financing deals. Contract for deed. It's been real. It's been 90. Gotta go. Be back tomorrow with another video. This is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.